Hey Gypsies, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to my second week update of my semaglutide. So, as like last time, I will post the video of me getting my injection yesterday. I got it yesterday about 4.30 or probably about 5 o'clock in the evening, and um, I was actually laying here in bed. I didn't bother to get fixed up yesterday. It was one of those days. And so Fifi came and I didn't even get up, but I still recorded it for you guys. So y'all would see it's not a big deal. And now I'm no longer afraid of it, but I still couldn't do it myself. Um, unless I had to, I guess, if I really, really wanted it bad enough, you know, and I had to, that would be it. Um, I just wanted to talk about like, like how I ate last week. Um, um, things that I could do better, things that, uh, you know, any side effects and stuff like that. I have, I'm not 100% sure how much I lost, honestly, because when they weighed me at the doctor's office, I weighed a specific amount, and then I came home, and then the next day, I weighed myself here, and the amount was higher than, than what I weighed, and then I weighed myself a couple of days later, and it was lower than what the doctor's office weighed, so, and then just now I got on, and it was about the same as what the doctor's office weighed, so I don't really know, and I know that's confusing, but until I go back to the doctor's office, which is not until two more weeks, uh, three more weeks, um, to get weighed and get my next batch, I won't know the official amount. So I am going to write down, because just from my perspective and my scales, you know, it'd be an easier way for me to keep track of things. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I have, as you guys know, if you watch any of my other videos, you know that I have been battling bronchitis lately, and I have, you know, a, it's an issue. It's an issue. So, you know, I, I may have done, okay, let me just, let me just strike that, okay? Um, let's talk about how I ate this week, okay? I'm also going to put pictures of several of the things that I ate this week um, at the end of this video, just, you know, so y'all can get an idea of how, you know, what it was, what it looked like, and stuff like that. I have not really been getting as much protein in as I should. I already know that, um, but I'm, um, I've got me some of the Premier Protein, which some of you guys had told me that Walmart and Sam's, or well, Sam's has a sale on it, and Walmart has a Walmart brand, basically Premier Protein, uh, which is basically the same thing, which I should do that next time. But I did already get me some Premier Protein, so I know that that's a good way to get some in. So I've been really doing that for lunch for the past couple of days. Um, also, like for breakfast... For the past three days, <coughs> and this is just something that I discovered that I really like, um, is the Oikos Triple Zero Yogurts, you know, the little, you get the four pack, and what I do is put a handful of blueberries in there, and a couple of tablespoons of ground flaxseed, and that is for the fiber, but I'm also loving the nutty taste and the texture that it gives that yogurt. So you'll see a couple of pictures of that. Um, that is something that I really have been enjoying. So, you know, I'm trying to stick like as far as fruits go, I'm trying to stick to just berries because I know that berries are the lowest carb fruit and the lowest on the glycemic index you know, so I'm trying to stick to berries, I'm definitely trying to stick to low carb, um, but not keto low carb, I'm just trying to stick to a lower carb diet, I don't think I've had any bread, I'll, I'll lie, I did have, let me show you guys what I had, I had a pack of these crackers day before yesterday, I think it was, um, it was for lunch instead of the protein shake. I was really wanting something to eat. So it was the only thing I, I had to grab, which I could have found something else. Like, I'm not trying to make excuses. You know, I probably shouldn't have ate that, um, but I did. Um, I've been doing a lot of, like, chicken sausages. I had chicken sausages. I've been doing hummus, um, green or 
bell peppers and cucumbers to eat and um let's see here sweet potatoes i've been having a lot of chicken and salads and stuff which eating this way whether you're on semaglutide or not i feel like will help you lose weight um as the main thing with semaglutide and this is the thing that i love the very most is and i talked about this in the first video about it how it's supposed to quiet your food chatter, and, and that is your mind constantly thinking about food and constantly thinking about, like, what you're going to eat next. Anyway, um, that has really made a difference, and I don't know if it's placebo effect or what, but I am not, I'm, it can't be placebo. I mean, honestly, my Food chatter has always been so bad, you know, thinking about food, 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 food. And it's like, while I'm on this, it I'm not like that. I'm not like that. I don't think about food constantly. I'm not thinking about, let me go out to eat when I, when I go shopping and do my YouTube videos for Dollar Tree and stuff like that. Usually, I would always make sure I got me food out. Always. Like, always. Always. And now I don't even think about it and it doesn't even bother me. I don't think about, ooh, that good stuff there. So, yeah. Um, also, the other day I had a white chicken chili on for dinner in the crock pot all day. And my hubby, which was just trying to do something good, I think. I, sometimes I feel like he might try to sabotage me, but I'm not sure. I don't know. But he knows that one of my biggest things is pizza. I was trying to make sure he wasn't home sneaking and listening, but he came in with two Little Caesars pizzas, and he's like, ta-da, and for one split second, I got so excited, and I'm like, and then I was like, thank you, awesome, you know, because I'm like, okay, they can have it. Um, I was really looking forward to the white chicken chili, and that is what I had. I told him, I'm sorry. And he had already been home. He, he And I guess he forgot that I had food in the crock pot for the dinner. And um, yeah, I said, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to eat that. I've got white chicken chili in the crock pot, and that's what I'm going to be having. And I don't know if I took pictures of that. Hopefully I did. But it was so good. I had it two nights in a row, and I made them eat the pizza. So... It is what it is, right? I enjoyed it. And as far as putting, like, normally I would have white chicken chili, which like tortilla chips or like the scoopable corn chips, like Fritos. Um, but I have got these little, um, let me hold on. I thought I would just show you guys these. I found at Aldi's. These are the Elevation Protein Puffs. And they have 42 grams of of protein per bag. So I probably used a third of the bag and just sprinkled them in that soup. And these are jalapeno cheddar and it gave it just the right amount of crunch for me. It ga gave it <coughs> at least 15 grams of protein and it was delicious. And these are not very cheap, but I mean, I still have a whole nother bag and a third of this bag at least. So I'm not, and it astounds me, honestly, guys, like it astounds me how I don't think about food. It really does. Um, our freezer is full of ice cream <coughs> and stuff like that. It doesn't bother me. It honestly doesn't bother me. Hold on. I got to get a drink. Okay, so it literally doesn't bother me. And the other day, so I went, went to, or I placed a click list order for Walmart, and I got my hubby a big old box of the iced cinnamon buns that he typically likes. Um, and then when he came home, once again, he had a huge coconut cream pie, which any other time I would have been all up in that, and this four pack of cream cheese danishes. I'm like, oh, how great for you. You know, it didn't phase me. It didn't bother me. And I didn't touch them. And I felt so good about myself for not touching them. You know, it's like, 
I don't need it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but I, I feel like this semaglutide is wonderful. Um, as far as side effects, let's talk about that. The first side effect that I have been noticing, and that is like for two days after I get the injection, is a little bit of heartburn. And it's not bad. I have like Rolaids in there, and I take two, and it goes away. And then like the next day, I might have to take two again, and it goes away. And then from then on out, no more heartburn. Um, but, and, and a lot of people says that it gives them diarrhea. Um, honestly, I'm having quite the opposite effect about constipation, okay? I'm just being real with you guys. I know it's not a nice subject, but it is a side effect that I have been experiencing, and that's not something that I typically experience. Although, when I was keto, I experienced it a lot more. When I eat everything, you know, I don't, I don't have to worry about that whatsoever, but maybe it's a combination of the semaglutide and a combination of how I'm eating now. So, I mean, I'm trying to up the fiber content and stuff, but, you know, it is what it is, and I'll take it. I'll take it, and I'll deal with it however I need to. But, I mean, it's not been an issue that I really have to deal with right now, but, you know, if it gets worse in the future, you know. Um, but that is the only the only side effects that I've had. I've not had stomach pain. I've not had vomiting. I've not had nausea. I've not had headaches. And it's been a very, very pleasant experience for me so far. So I definitely feel like I can, you know, as of right now, some people say they don't experience it until their fourth or fifth week. Um, but honestly, as of right now, I'm still good to go on it. I feel good. I feel good mentally. I feel great about the food chatter. And yeah, it is what it is, guys. It's And it's wonderful. So far, it's wonderful. I would recommend, I, I'm not a doctor. Let me put that out there. But if you've been thinking about maybe wanting to try it, do it. And I did have a few people ask me about the price, which I actually went over in the first video. I told you guys the price. Um, I'll go ahead and talk about that again. For four injections um, that you give yourself, it's you get a little vial, you get the injections, you get the week, the monthly weigh-in, you know, and you get to talk to the doctor, um, was $250. So basically $250 a week, a month, I mean, not a week, I definitely couldn't do that. $250 a week, let's, let's start over, $250 a month, a month. And I feel like the the money that I'm saving from going out to eat all the time and the money that I'm saving from getting the whole family dinner because I don't want to cook is going to cover that 100%. Because we were eating McDonald's and Pizza Hut, you know, Gino's, like three times a week at least two to three times a week and you take a whole month of that not to mention the days that i would go out shopping and eat you know all of that together totally will cover the cost of what i'm paying for this and yeah so there's that if anyone's wondering about the cost um i think i, I probably sh and honestly i thought that like when i went to the weight loss clinic i just knew they were going to take measurements and everything i did not take measurements and they did not so i know some weeks you go by and maybe you don't lose but you may lose inches so i haven't i kind of regret that i didn't do that um but you know i'm just going to go by how my clothes fit and stuff like that if i don't lose you know uh, I'm going to still do my very best. I'm, I am staying away from sugary stuff, anything sugary. Um, I'm, I, I drink nothing but black coffee, water with electrolytes, and um, usually at least one cup of tea a day. I do drink honey in the tea. It has not bothered me at all. Um, it's, it's really a wonderful treat for me. And with the bronchitis that I've been dealing with, I have definitely been needing that cup of tea to help me out. So I'm about 95% better from that. So, you know, um, yeah. Um, like I said, I've, I've been eating low carb 
low carb. I, I don't count anything. I don't count calories or anything like that. I just, you know, I'm try, try to get extra protein in when I can. I am going to boil me up some eggs just to keep in the fridge for when I get hungry. You know, if I get a snack attack in the middle of the day, uh, an, a boiled egg or two is a great way to go, really, um, as far as protein, calories, and, and all around. I am, like, doing research on new recipes that I can make and stuff, you know, that maybe the whole family can eat because that makes it a lot easier if you could cook not two dishes, but one. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, once again. Uh, so that's it. That's my weekly semaglutide update for you guys. Like I said, um, I'm not sure how much I lost. Uh, you'll get a, a very good, when I go back to the doctor, you'll get, you know, the month loss so total, which I'll be really curious to see what the whole total is for the month. I'm going to do the best I can do, and we are actually going to start walking. Um, I've got a couple of different exercise things coming from uh, TikTok. I got a stepper. I've got I got a vibration plate coming. Um, I've got a jump rope thing coming. Well, no, I actually have that here. Haven't used it yet, but I'm definitely going to be doing this stuff, so it's going to be fun. Anyway, guys, that is it. Don't forget, stay put for the little video of me getting my injection and also for um, the pictures of some of the food that I had. Um, I know it's not super exciting, but it looked good and it was good. So anyway, guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And until next time, bye. Okay, guys, it's that time of the week again. And Fifi's here to give me my shot. This is one of those days where I didn't get dressed or put my makeup on. So um, I'm just going to film her giving me my shot. So say hi, Fifi. Hi. She's a good girl. Ready? Look away. Okay, wait a minute. okay, guys, she's ready, so I'm looking away. Okay. I can't, you're not really, like, pudging out. I can't grip. Oh, there's plenty of pudge. Here. Well, not where you... I wipe that. Uh, oh, crap. Hold on. Hold on, guys. There's not enough pudge where she wiped up. Technical difficulties. <laughs> You're scared? I don't know why I'm scared. I'm just scared. I don't know why. I didn't feel it. I sort of did. I guess I did feel it. I heard else, you. I'm like, I felt, I felt it, but it didn't hurt. Okay, guys. Thank you, Fifi.